today we're going to do a how-to video on how to remove the stock GM trailer hitch from the 1999 through 2006 Chevrolet Silverado and GMC Sierra. Here's what your stock hitch will look like on the back of your bumper. Here are the tools that you're going to need. An air gun, a 21 millimeter socket, and a 21 millimeter wrench. Let's get started. Now moving on to the vehicle, I'm going to point out the points and the bolts that you're going to need to take loose. On each frame rail, there are three bolts of 21 millimeter. One right up in here, another one right here, there's a bolt coming down through so you need to get up on top, it has a nut underneath it. Same for the one back here. Up front, the hitch hooks into the bumper. As you can see, here's the bolt right here. So what you're going to do, you're going to get your wrench and start in the back. Take your 21 millimeter wrench, put it up on top. You're going to need to hold it. Now, because I have the phone in one hand, I can't do it for you, but you'll get the idea. So then put your 21 millimeter socket here, hit your air gun, hold the other hand with the wrench, and it'll break free pretty easily. Now I would recommend, because these trucks are older, that you wear some kind of safety glasses, otherwise you're gonna have all kinds of rust particles in your eyes, and that's not any fun. So you do that one there. Do the same with this one, moving the wrench over onto the top. Now the rest of these are pretty easy. This bolt, you can see right there. Just put your 21 millimeter socket on it and buzz it off with your air gun. Now, moving to the ones on the bumper, right here. 21 millimeter on, comes right out. Same, this side. Then uh, you'll wanna kinda maybe support it with your leg as you go to work on these, these. just cause this thing is kinda heavy. You don't really wanna drop it on yourself. You might have a bad day. So I would go ahead and do the same thing there. Top wrench on those two. Buzz that one out with this one. Um, before you take the last one out, one word of caution. Unplug your trailer hitch light pack. You don't want to stress that because sometimes these things are brittle and they will break. So that's pretty easy. Uh, like I said, uh, and for install, just reverse the process. And if you have a C1500 and it, it did not come with the GM trailer hitch, um, this light pack usually is tucked up on your frame rail and all those holes are already there. So all you have to do is get one of these hitches off a four wheel drive unit or one that came with the tow package and uh, you can easily bolt it up to yours even if it didn't come from it come with it from the factory so hope this was helpful stay tuned as we go through parting out more of the truck that you see here uh, we're gonna be doing the bumper engine transmission seats transfer case and a whole list of other items take care